guys, today I filmed a Mac, I don't really know what to call this video, like a Mac like collection and swatches video or like my thoughts about my Mac lipstick. I don't really know what I'm going to call this video. But basically I went through and I showed you guys all of my MAC lipsticks and I told you my thoughts about them and I tried them on my lips for you. That is why my lips are stained hot pink right now. So I hope that you guys like this video. I know when I first started out in makeup I got really overwhelmed at the MAC store because there's a ton of lipsticks and things to choose from. So I hope you guys like this video and let's just get started. So the first one today I am wearing right Right now and that is pure zen and this is a cream sheen finish and I would say this is more of a peachy nude color and when I first started wearing lipsticks peachy nudes and pinky nudes is the only thing that I bought because I thought that that was the least scary lipstick color but now I don't really think that these types of colors suit me as much but I kept this one because I think that it's good to mix with different like darker lipstick colors to make it a little bit more light but if you have a lighter complexion I think that this color would be really really pretty on you or just if you like nudes in general I feel like this is a very good one. The second color I have today is also a nude but this one is a little bit more pinky and this is Hue by MAC. This is a glaze formula so it's also really comfortable. And I think this was the first lipstick I ever bought from MAC. You can see I kind of used a lot of it but now I just don't think that these colors look very good on me. But if you are looking for a good pinky nude, Hue is definitely a very good one to choose. This next color is called Brave and it is a satin finish so it's a little bit more um, like between a matte and a glossy shine so it's what it sounds like. It's like a satin finish. I think that this is a perfect color if you're just looking for like a very natural looking lipstick and still like a little bit more polished. I feel like Brave is a really good option. This next color is called Midi Mauve and it is a luster finish. And this lipstick is so comfortable to put on. It feels like you're putting on a chapstick. And this is just like my perfect color. I love mauve colors. I love any neutral colors like this. So this is definitely one of my favorite ones. I'm sad to wipe this one off because I really like it. This next lipstick is called Syrup. And this is one of my favorite lipsticks from MAC. I wear it all the time and it's kind of like a mauve color but it's mixed with like a little bit of a lilac and this is also a luster finish so it's super comfortable on the lips and this is max cream in your coffee and it is a cream sheen finish so it's a little bit more opaque than some of the other ones but this is one of my all-time favorite colors I wear it all the time as you guys can probably see like mauvey pinky plum tones are like my favorite to wear I wear them all the time if you were looking for just like the perfect lipstick I would highly recommend cream in your coffee this color is called whirl and it's a matte finish and I really like this color I got it pretty recently I haven't worn it a ton of times only like two or three times because I feel like it needs a special occasion because it's a pretty bold lipstick at least for me and um, I feel like it's the perfect like 90s nude brown color that everyone loves right now and it's really comfortable for a matte finish it's like it doesn't feel drying or it doesn't feel like it's gonna like crack off your lips this color is called lustering and it is a luster finish and I wore this a ton in summer and I think that's why it's melted and really weird looking it's just like the perfect summer day lipstick I think it's not too overpowering like a lot of pink lipsticks can be but it's pretty wearable for being like a almost hot pink color this next color is called neon orange and it's an amplified formula and that's exactly what it is. It's a neon orange lipstick. I saw one of the MAC ladies wearing this and it looked so good on her. And I was like, mom, I really want that lipstick. And it was my 16th birthday. So she was like, okay, just get it. So now I have this color and it is very bold. I mean, it's a really good formula if you're looking for a bright orange lipstick. It feels really comfortable on the lips, but I never wear this lipstick because I don't know. I don't know when I would wear it. Next color is another shocker. It is called Candy Yum Yum and it is a matte formula and this is your good old neon pink lipstick. I remember the lady at MAC saw me looking at it and she was like, do you want me to put it on you? And I was like, uh, I don't think that that will look very good on me. And she put it on me and I was like, 
huh, I kind of like it. Like, you know how when you're in the store, you're like, I should just get this. And so I got it. Overall, it's a really good formula. And if you're looking for a crazy bold lipstick, then Candy Yum Yum is perfect. This color is called Rebel and it is a satin finish. And I love this color so much. I wear this color a lot, but I just use it as more of a stain. So I'll just like dab it on my lips instead of doing it this intense. But sometimes I do wear it like this. And I also feel like it makes your teeth look white. And I just think it's overall really flattering. So that is Rebel by MAC color is Viva Glam 1 and it is a matte red color and if you ever see a picture of me in a red lipstick it's probably this one because I just love it so much it's so comfortable it lasts forever it's cool toned so it makes your teeth look really white and I would just say this is the perfect red all-american color so that is Viva Glam 1 this color is the classic MAC Red. It's called Russian Red. I think it's a little bit more warm than Viva Glam 1, but it's still really wearable. And if you're looking for a little bit more of a warm red, I would choose Russian Red. And if you want a cooler tone, then I would choose Viva Glam 1. But they're both really good, really good classic red colors. Hey okay, guys, that is the end of the video. Did I just say and? So I hope that you guys liked it, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it, and don't forget to subscribe for a new video every single week, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!